this episode, Noguchi-san on ice. Hey, Tama-chan, did you watch the ice skating on TV yesterday? Yep, I watched it. It was so fabulous! I admire her so much. Every jump she made was perfect. I wish I could eventually skate like her someday. Yes, indeed. If we practice very hard, we might be able to skate like her someday. You think so? Oh, yes. Tomorrow is Sunday. Would you like to go skating with me? It sounds great! But I'm not that great of an ice skater, you know. I go to the skating rink every week, so I skate all the time. You know, I can do jumps and spins. Ah, yeah, I remember you were really good at skating. I'm okay. I'm going again tomorrow. Is that right? Then can you teach me some things since you're going to be there anyway? Yeah, that's fine. All right. Maybe I can do the triple jump someday soon if I practice hard enough to get it down. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm home now. I'm going to learn how to skate tomorrow. Slide! Sliding, sliding, sliding. <laughs> oh, that really hurts. Uh... Hey, Mom, I, I don't think you wiped the hallway thoroughly enough. I just fell down hard. What? Was there something on the floor? No, there wasn't, but it's not polished enough, so I can't slide and skate smoothly on this hallway like I want to. Uh-huh. I was practicing how to ice skate. I'm going with Tama-chan tomorrow. Oh, and I need a muffler and a pair of gloves. Well, then, you'd better bring an extra pair of pants to change into. Bring my pants? I should wear a beautiful skirt there like the figure skaters wear. You can hardly skate, so if you're dressed like that, your underpants will get wet when you fall down. You'd better wear pants. All right. That's right. Huh? And you may get cold, so you better wear your wool underpants. I can't believe Mom told me to wear my wool underpants to ice skate. Hey, look at it this way. It'll serve as a cushion. That way you won't feel too much pain, even if you fall down on your bottom. All I want to do is skate elegantly, just like a figure skater does. So how am I supposed to get that feeling if I'm wearing wool underpants? Do you know what this girl said? She told me she wants to wear a skirt. Okay, but don't you care that people can see your underpants when you fall down? Well, I understand. I will go in my pants, but I'm not going to wear my wool underpants there. <sighs> and the next morning... Maruko, you have a call from Tama-chan. What? Oh, I see. There's nothing you can do about it. We'll go together some other time. Hmm. Tell me, what's the matter, Maruko? <sighs> Tama-chan is a cold, so we're not going ice skating today. I'm so sorry to hear about that. It won't be fun if I go alone. Maruko. All right, then. Why don't you go there with me? Hey, do you know how to skate, Grandpa? Huh? Oh. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure I can manage. To be a man, you need courage. Mm. Mm. Fujiki will be there, too, so I guess it'll be all right. Oh, boy. Fujiki hasn't shown up yet. Were you going to meet up here with all your friends? Fujiki is a good skater and skates all the time, so he was going to teach me how to skate. Maruko, you can teach yourself to skate. Why don't we give it a try first? Yeah, I guess we can. Phew. Noguchi-san! Hello! Oh, hello there. Noguchi-san, I didn't know that you're a good skater. Sort of. She was able to master a very unique way of skating, which is an invention of my own. What? What is it? Will you teach me, too? It's a secret. Huh? Well, then, see you! Uh, uh... I'm so sorry that I came late. Oh, Fujiki! Oh, Fujiki-kun. Well, hello there. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, hey, where's Honami? She couldn't come because she caught a cold. But I came here with my grandpa. It's not like he's taking her place. I so appreciate you helping both of us. Uh, uh... Well, shall we start skating now? 
If you can't get over the fear of falling down, then you'll never be able to learn how to skate. Uh. Uh. <laughs> First, you position your feet to form a V-shape. B? Huh? How could I do something like that? Grandpa, it's not B, but it's V. V, like the letter V. Oh, I see. Sorry, sorry. Make it a V. <laughs> Next, you keep your feet at a V angle and move your foot forward to take a nice big step. <laughs> now listen to me. The both of you need to loosen up and that will help you relax in order to skate. Yes! <laughs> You really have to relax a bit more. Yeah, I know that, but I can't help but be tense all the time. What can I do? Okay, then I'll show you how it's done, so please watch me carefully. Yes. yes. <sighs> yeah, he's actually really good. Yes, he's really good. <laughs> but Gio, aren't we the most affectionate couple no matter what we decide to do? Yeah, because of our hot, passionate love, we might even melt the ice below our feet. Oh, God, what a I didn't know Noguchi-san's brother and his girlfriend are here. It really looks like he wasn't taught how to skate from his grandfather. I guess so. Hey, guys. Huh? Were you watching like I told you? Well... Fujiki, <laughs> <sighs> oh. 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 we'll practice by ourselves for a while, so why don't you go and skate by yourself? Hey, what does that mean? It seems like we're taking forever to learn how to skate, so... Does that mean I'm not good at teaching you how to skate? Oh, no, I didn't mean that. I just don't feel right bothering you so much, that's why. All right, then. Well, I guess I'll see you later. Well, Grandpa, shall we do it? I guess so. Mamaruku! <laughs> Noguchi-san, thank you so much. Whew. I'm really impressed of how good a skater you are, Noguchi-san. It doesn't matter how much we practice, we still have a hard time learning how to skate. So will you please teach us the unique way to skate that your grandpa invented? I beg you, help me too, please. Hitoshi Ueki. Hitoshi Ueki? What do you mean? Uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of Hitoshi Ueki, I'm not invited. What does that famous song have to do with anything and how to make you skate? Mm. It will be settled somehow, sometime, someday. There's a song like that, too. Hmm. It looks like both of them are humming something. What is it? Huh? Could it be that song? Well then, what are we supposed to do? Grandpa, what's the next lyric after I know it, but I can't stop it? What? A horse, you, see 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 you. Yeah, that's it! It's Sudar Bushi's song! <laughs> that's right! Way to figure that one out! When you skate to the rhythm of Sudarabushi song, it's easier to skate. You can really loosen up. I thought of this method just for my laughing granddaughter. Oh, see you, see you, see you, Dara, see you, see you, see you, see you, see you, Dara, 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 see you, see you. Oh, it's really true. Yes, I can finally relax now, and I'm skating much better. That's so true. Let me ask you, Maruko, how are we supposed to put the brakes on? What? Ah! 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 That hurts! Ah! Let's get hot here! We're, We're so, so sorry! Funny. How dare you split up a loving couple? Oh, pay for that! Huh? Huh? Don't you guys mess around! I'm gonna catch you guys! Uh -huh. I know it, but I can't stop. Was the story.
In this episode, I was able to find a small spring. <laughs> Maruko! Mm -hmm. You're laying down again. What kid in this world eats their snacks laying down? You asked where, and there's one right here. You watch that smart mouth of yours! If you have spare time, go to the store for me. Huh? Why do I have to run an errand to the store on my precious Sunday? I don't have carrots to put in the curry. I don't want to go. It's so cold. It's not cold out there. It's spring already. Hey, Mom, spring means the season. When the sunlight feels nice and warm, it makes us drowsy. So that's when you know that the season of spring is here. It's still winter now. What are you talking about? You're drowsy all year round, no matter what season, spring or winter. Oh. No comeback for that, Maruko. I'm going out for a while. Oh, Grandma, what's the occasion? You look really dressed up today. Not really. I just pulled out some of the spring items. Spring items? Even when it's this cold? Yes, March is considered to be spring, isn't it? See, I told you so. <laughs> that scarf is such a beautiful color on it. The method they used is called cherry dyeing. Cherry barks and twigs are simmered, and that's what's used to dye this. Trees are used to make dye instead of flower petals? Yes, and I heard that they even use the trees that are just about to blossom. Eh? I didn't know that brown barks and twigs could make such a pretty pink like this. It's almost like magic. Although we can't tell by just looking from the outside, cherry blossom trees work really hard and use their entire tree in order to make the flower bloom. They're so courageous. Eh? That is so true. Oh, I found a new respect for cherry blossoms. <laughs> is that so? See, even the cherry blossom tree is trying hard. Why don't you stop laying around and hurry up and run an errand for me? Mm -hmm. I was feeling so cozy at home, and yet I get abused by my mom even on my day off. <sighs> I'm just like that poor Cinderella girl. Uh, Cinderella had to work much harder than that. Huh? It's cherry rice cakes. They look so yummy. It is indeed a spring sweet that makes you feel the season. Mom, can I? No, you can't. We still have sweet buns left over from a gift we got. We're gonna have them today. Oh, please buy the cherry blossom rice cake. Cherry blossom rice cakes are sweets for spring. If you don't eat it now, then you're not Japanese. Don't worry. Even if I don't eat it today, it's not gonna make me a foreigner. Mom, you have a smart mouth. That's because I am your mother. Anyway, we'll have sweet buns for snack today. We'll have rice cakes another time. Boo! I have no choice. I might as well ask Grandpa. <laughs> Grandpa! Oh! Ouch! I'm sorry, are you okay, Grandpa? Yes, don't worry, I'm okay. Hmm? Oh, um, I forgot what it was about. What's the matter? Well, I was just coming in here to see you and tell you something, Maruko, but I... I forgot what it was when I fell down. Really? Anyway, Grandpa, I need to ask you a big favor. Thank you for shopping with us. Thank you so much, Grandpa. That's no problem. I can't wait to have the rice cake. It'll be so sweet. It's actually pretty warm when you walk around like this. Yes, we're already in the month of March. Oh, by the way, Grandpa, do you remember what you were going to tell me before you fell? Huh? What are you talking about? Ah, come on. You told me after we bumped into each other that you were about to come tell me something. Oh, I remember that now. I wonder what it was about. Mmm. You see, when it gets warm like this, it warms me up and it makes me forgetful. Even when it's not warm, you're forgetful all year round. Hmm? <laughs> Oh, that smells so good. What is it? Oh, it's that! The Daphne flowers smell so nice, don't they? Yes, they are small and lovely flowers indeed. Huh? Hey, Grandpa, look over there! Ooh. Japanese apricot are blooming over there. Oh, what a beautiful apricot tree. The Japanese apricot bloomed, but I wonder if the cherry blossom bloomed yet. <laughs> 
What is that song? It's a song about looking forward to springtime. And I was taught that by the old man who was my neighbor when I was a kid. Eh? You don't remember what happened a short time ago, but you remember just fine about the old times. Hey. Everyone gets like that when they get old. Grandpa Sasaki, hello there. Oh? Oh, it's Sakura-san and Maru-chan. Hello there. Are you taking a stroll? Yes, we're taking a stroll after we've done some shopping. Well, that sounds very nice. Hey, are you going to remove that already? Won't the tree catch a cold? It's become quite warm already, so... Look up. There's a new bud there. Yeah, there is. Springtime has come indeed. The Daphne flower has bloomed already. We got to spot a lot of spring everywhere today. I'm starting to get really excited. If that's the case, Maru-chan, why don't you walk around the riverbank? There's delicious spring that's already sprouted. Huh? Delicious spring? The Fukido bat is delicious as tempura or marinated with miso. Ah, uh, I found another one here. Hey, Grandpa, I was able to pick so many of them. Oh, that's great. Cherry rice cake and Fukunoto will have treats of spring today. <laughs> oh, Sakura. What are you doing there? Hey, Nagayama kun I was picking Fukinoto buds with Grandpa. Oh, hello there. Well, hello there. Nagayama kun where are you going now with those binoculars in your hand? I'm going to Shimizu Port. I'm going to watch the seagulls. The seagulls? There's a lot of seagulls at the port, but there are some which go back to the far country during this season. You talking about the migratory birds? Mm. They spend time in Japan in the winter, but when it gets warmer, they start to head back to the northern country. I wonder why they make such an effort to go to cold places. I wonder why they don't just relax at Shimizu. Actually, they like it better in colder places. Oh, I'm really glad that I wasn't born as a seagull. <sighs> Isn't the ocean really calming? Mm. The ocean in the spring is pretty calm, so it makes me feel really relaxed. Oh. You can see Mount Fuji very clearly today. Yes, you can. I wonder what they were able to catch. Oh, it's sea bream. What a fine thing. It's so beautiful. Look how shiny it is. It's actually a sea bream, but it's called cherry blossom sea bream in this season. Really? It looks pink like the cherry blossom. So the fish is going through spring too. Wow! Every bird is lined up so neatly together. I wonder if they are ordered to line up. That seagull is really restless. A guy like Yamada is everywhere out there. That big one is Kosugian. The one shaking looks like Yamane. Isn't it interesting? When you look close, they have their own characteristics. Uh-huh. Huh? Oh. Looks like they're starting their journey. Hey! I'll be waiting for you next year! Hey, seagulls! Goodbye! Take good care on your way back! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! I wonder if those seagulls are still flying right now. Well, it might be right about time for them to rest up their wings for now. Yeah, they could be. Hey, Grandpa, we were able to find lots of spring today, didn't we? Yes, I thought it was still really cold, but spring showed up out of nowhere already. Mm, come to think of it. What are you talking about, Grandpa? It's about what I wanted to tell you, Maruko, but... Uh... Did you finally remember? Well, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I... Um, I think I wanted to tell you something to do with springtime, but... Um... Something about springtime? I got it! Didn't you want to tell me you want to go on vacation for spring break? No, that's not it. Then maybe it has to do with giving me allowance because it's springtime. That's not it. <laughs> Just as I thought, Fukinoro goes well with beer. Didn't that smell really nice? But if the Fukinoro is sprouting then, it means the spring has come. That's because today is a day of Keijitsu. Keijitsu? What is that? Oh, I know that one. Huh? Doesn't keijitsu mean the time when the weather gets warmer and insects start to crawl out? Oh my, I didn't know you knew about that. Yeah, I learned that in school. Eh? <sighs> I'm really full now. Oh? You think you can just laze around? You're not done with your homework. 
Oh, I forgot that I had homework. Go do it right away. Insects are crawling out now. An insect. An insect! Yeah! I just saw cockroaches. What? what? Yes, that's it. That's what I wanted to tell you, Maruko. What? what? I actually spotted a cockroach in the children's room earlier today. It must be getting pretty warm now. What? It's all your fault because you keep dropping crumbs of snacks. That's right. It's as if you're feeding the cockroaches here. Maruko, you better take full responsibility for this matter or I'll never talk to you again. No way. I can't. I'm scared of them. Don't argue about this. Hurry up and get rid of them. No. No way. A cockroach showing up in the Sakura's home was thanks to the Keijutsu, which caused a spring storm. <laughs>